But we have a program, and if people will accept this program, it's foolproof. You can't ever drink again if you accept and apply the AA program. It's impossible. I don't sponsor new people anymore. I don't have the time. But I have people, when I do find a new person, I usually turn him over to someone who I have talked to before and take them through the steps and let them work on them. They need that exercise. But what I get is this. I get people who have been around AA or in AA. Some have been dry, some of them haven't over a period of year, years. And they hear about this nut down in Castleberry, Florida, who has some peculiar way of fixing drunks in two days. It takes you through the steps in two days and you never drink anymore and you have a good life. Now this sounds pretty good to a lot of people, you know. And I try and they call. I, I don't get very many people from around Orlando, of course. A prophet is without honor in his own home. I'm a bum there, but I go a hundred miles away, I'm an authority. <laughs> but these people mostly come from different parts of the state or out of the state. And they're sincere people. I don't want them to come unless they are. And when they come, I have a qualification for them. And here's what I do with every one of those persons. First of all, I want to know that you are an alcoholic. And I want you to know it, and I want you to admit it. Now, how do I know you are an alcoholic? Well, after 45 years of fooling around with rummies, if I don't know an alcoholic when I run into one, they better lock me up for good. <laughs> Because alcoholics are different than people. We're all the other different than people. We are in a class by ourselves. Our characteristics are the same. I don't say that some civilians don't have some of our characteristics, but they don't have all of them. But every one of us has the same pattern as far as the way we're put together. Our processes up here. I don't talk about thinking process because they don't think. An alcoholic, don't ever catch an alcoholic thinking, they're in real trouble. <laughs> but no, they're all alike. And after conversation, I can ascertain to my satisfaction that the person's an alcoholic, he or she's an alcoholic, and he or she admits it. A lot of them don't know what an alcoholic is. It's never been explained to them. You know, and most people, all of them, not most of them, every alcoholic I've ever met has a very poor opinion of himself. His feeling of self-worth is next to zero. And I tell him what a great guy he is, and I prove it to him that he's different than people. And he's got something that these other people don't have. And don't ever try to be like those people. Be you. And I teach him how. How do we do this? We do this by taking them into the steps. I have a way of, uh, these questions I ask, first of all, I want to know if it's an alcoholic and he Finally, he admits he is. And the next thing I ask him is this, what do you want to do about it? A lot of people don't want to do anything about it. A lot of people will quit or I'll quit for them, see? So I want to know what they'll do. So I say to him, what are you willing to do to quit drinking forever? I don't say anything about quit drinking for 24 hours or 24 years. Forever. That's a long time or something that that has never had a week's sobriety in his life. <laughs> you get some funny answers on that one sometimes. Where do I get that from? That's in the book. It says, if you want what we have and are willing to go to any lengths to get it, you are now ready to take certain steps. That's what it says in the book. I didn't make that up. 
But people don't throw this at their people when they come in. They let anybody walk in and sit down in a chair. And half the people sitting in a lot of these meetings I've been in don't even belong there. And I'm more alcoholic than I'm an astronaut. A related problem caused a split of another kind. One of the Cleveland members of the Akron group, Clarence Snyder, began to realize that as long as the self-help group was tied to the Oxford group, it could never hope to assimilate Catholics, Jews, or agnostics. The majority of the fellows that were going down to the Oxford group with me were Catholics. A Catholic in those days, they were not permitted by their church to belong to such a group as the Oxford Movement. So something had to be done. I said, all we need is a 12-step program, the four absolutes, and anyone can live with that. So I went down to Akron the next week and made the announcement that this is the last time the Cleveland contingent will be down here as a group. We are starting our own group in Cleveland, Ohio, at 2345 Stillman Road, Cleveland Heights. And this is not going to be an Oxford group. This is going to be known as Alcoholics Anonymous. We're taking the name from the book, and only alcoholics and their families are welcome. Alcoholics Anonymous is an offshoot of the Oxford Group Movement, which aspired to live by the teachings of Jesus Christ. In its infancy, AA split off and distinguished itself as a fellowship whose primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics achieve sobriety. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking and all are welcome regardless of faith or creed. Though Christian in origin, the 12 steps were altered so as to make them acceptable to persons of any faith or no faith. Nowhere does the literature proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord Savior and AA members are encouraged to find a higher power of their own understanding.